Take a look at what happened. Tonight, new information on what's being investigated as a possible assassination attempt on former President Trump. The Secret Service says a shooter fired multiple shots toward the stage from an elevated position outside the rally venue in Butler County, Pennsylvania, north of Pittsburgh. The Secret Service says their team neutralized the shooter, who is now dead. Law enforcement sources tell ABC News the shooter fired as many as eight rounds using an AR-style rifle from a rooftop 200 to 300 yards away. Tonight, Trump releasing a statement that reads in part, I was shot with a bullet that pierced the upper part of my right ear. I knew immediately that something was wrong and that I heard a whizzing sound, shots, and immediately felt the bullet ripping through the skin. First you think like maybe firecrackers, but it continued, it continued, and then somebody yelled, get down. We got down, we got down, and we huddled, and we started praying. The shooting happening minutes into Trump's rally. Trump on stage reaching for his right ear, then apparently ducking behind the podium. Secret Service agents rushing the former president. Moments later, Trump taken to his feet with blood on his right ear. Trump waving a fist in the air as he's led off the stage surrounded by Secret Service agents. This is happening ahead of a major week for Trump with the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee. There's no place in America for this kind of violence. It's sick. It's sick. It's one of the reasons why we have to unite this country. We cannot allow for this to be happening. We cannot be like this. We cannot condone this. Perry Russell, ABC News, Milwaukee. Former President Barack Obama released a statement about the incident. It reads in part, there is absolutely no place for political violence in our democracy. We should all be relieved that former President Trump wasn't seriously hurt and used this moment to recommit ourselves to civility and respect in our politics. Tennessee lawmakers are speaking out on the incident and those responses continue to keep coming. News 2's Alicia Vett Wimberly joins us now with more on leaders and what they've expressed on what this means for them. Alicia Vett. Kinley, the shooting at the Trump rally in Pennsylvania has left an overwhelming number of Tennessee GOP lawmakers rallying in support of the former president. We've heard from multiple GOP leaders like Governor Bill Lee, who sends his prayers to former President Donald Trump after his rally ended with shots fired. Senator Marsha Blackburn also gave her input, saying she's praying for Trump and the law enforcement personnel, who we know now includes the Secret Service, who were tending to him at the rally. Senator Bill Haggerty says former President Trump is the strongest person he knows. Now, I spoke with Tennessee GOP Chair Scott Golden, and he says right now he's trying to get over the shock and find rationale in what happened, but he's proud of how former President Trump reacted. He says he demonstrated courage and leadership in the face of defiance, and this situation makes a statement on his behalf, saying, regardless of what they throw at me, I'm going to continue this campaign. For a lot of us Republicans and Trump supporters, it kind of feels like you know, we've we've had one case after another, and now here we are with the with the next step of 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 an attempted assassination, which is which is what what it is. It was an assassination attempt, and so to see President Trump stand up and say "keep fighting," uh, that has absolutely encouraged our crowd. So I think what we're going to see next week was is even more excitement for the convention and launching the, the campaign of Donald Trump than we would have had um, had the day not happened. Representative Gloria Johnson, who is currently running against Marsha Blackburn, says in part, we condemn political violence of any kind under any circumstances. We thank the Secret Service for their quick action. In a more divisive stance, Representative Jeremy Faison seemingly accused Democrats of being to blame for the attempt. He wrote in part, do you want to live in a world where you may get shot for your beliefs or one that puts our country first and unifies us? Out of respect for the individual that passed, GOP Chair Golden says the RNC closed all events this Saturday evening, and all he can do is wait to see the aftermath in the coming weeks. Kenley. Thank you so much. Now, later this month, the presumed Republican nominee and former president is set to visit Nashville to address the Bitcoin 2024 conference. The event takes place July 25th through the 27th at the Music City Center. Trump is set to speak on the last day at 2 p.m., along with the former president, Senators Bill Haggerty and Marsha Blackburn are also set to speak at the event. According to a press release, this will be the first time a former U.S. president and leading presidential candidate publicly addresses the global Bitcoin community. Now, history is unfolding as we speak. Don't miss the latest information. Download our news app and stay with us online.